In this problem, we're told a child slides down a hill on a toboggan with an acceleration of 1.6 meters per second squared. If she starts at rest, how far has she traveled in A, 1 second, B, 2 second, and 3, 3 seconds? Right, so let's go ahead and draw what's going on. Right, so imagine the square is the toboggan, right? And so we know the initial velocity, right, is going to be 0 meters per second, right? Because the child is going to be starting at rest. We know they're going to accelerate at 1.6 meters per second squared. And so what we're trying to do is find how far they travel in different time intervals. Right, so basically, uh, basically what we're trying to do is solve for delta x, right? The change in her position, which is basically how far she's going to travel or the distance, okay? And so the way we're going to solve this problem, first you want to just write out the given. So as I said before, we're given the initial velocity, which is 0 meters per second. We're given the acceleration, which is 1.6 meters per second squared. And then what we're trying to do is find delta x, right? And so the thing that's changing about this problem is the time intervals, right? So for A... We're going to be using one second, right? For B, it's going to be two seconds, right? C is going to be three seconds. And so what this is, these are all equal to T, right? These are the time values. And then we're going to solve this is by using kinematics. So basically, the equations right here are kinematic equations. And what we can do is we can plug in different uh, kinematic variables, right? Velocity, acceleration, uh, time. And what we're going to do is go ahead and solve for delta x, right? We're trying to find delta x. So if you look at the equations on the right, the equation we're going to use is number three. And the reason that is is look. We have the initial velocity, right? We have the time, right? The time is going to be different for each question, but we have the time, and we have the acceleration, right? And we're trying to do a solve for delta x. So that's why we're going to be using this equation. So delta x equals v sub 0 times t plus 1 half a t squared. And all we need to do is plug it in for each of the different time intervals. So let's just go ahead and start with a. So for a, we're doing delta x equals v sub 0 right? What is V sub zero? So V sub zero is just zero, right? So zero times T. And so for A, the time is one. So it's just one, zero times one is still zero. So it's just going to be one half times the acceleration, 1.6 times T squared. T squared is just one. So it's just one squared. So this is how we're going to do it, right? So all you got to do is just plug it in. So if you go ahead and do this, one squared is one times 1 1.6 is still 1.6 and divide by two, it's going to be 0.8. And so we measure delta x is position, it's measured in meters, so 0.8 meters. Now let's do b. So b is going to be delta x, how far we travel, right, is equal to v sub 0, which is 0, times t, which is 2, 0 times 2 is still 0. So it's just going to be 1 half times a, which is 1.6, times t, right, t is 2 for this one, so 2 squared. Uh, and so what you want to do is just do 2 squared, multiply by 1.6, right, and if you do that, Right, and then multiply by one half, you're going to get 3.2. So 3.2 meters, that's going to be how far she travels in two seconds. Now let's do C, which is three seconds. So it's going to be uh, right V sub zero, which is zero, times T, which is three, which is still zero. And you're just going to get one half times A, which is 1.6, times uh, T squared, which is just going to be three squared. Right, so three squared, multiply by 1.6. Right, and then multiply it by one half, and if you do that, you're going to get 7.2 uh, meters. Right, so this is going to be how far she travels. Right, for A, this is B, and then this is C. So in one, two, and three seconds. But yeah, so these are going to be your answers for their corresponding uh, letters. But yeah, so these are your answers, and hopefully you found this useful.